Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is of the initial screen view when you open a new blank publication in Publisher. A publication is the file type created in Publisher. Within a publication, you create and modify text and graphic objects on the pages that constitute the publication. When you close a publication within Publisher, Publisher will prompt you to save any unsaved changes in any open applications that you were working on before closing. In the following lessons within this chapter, you will examine the elements of the Publisher environment. New users should first familiarize themselves with the tools and elements within the program's environment before attempting to create a publication. When you initially start Publisher, you will be presented with a listing of available publication templates. We will explore using these templates in more detail in the next chapter. For now, simply click the standard blank 8.5 by 11 choice from the listing shown so you can inspect the working environment of the program. After creating a publication, you will see the main workspace of the Publisher environment. This is where you will spend the majority of your time designing publications. In the Publisher environment, the publication pages appear within the application frame. The application frame consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, and the publication pages. The first object to examine is the ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you will find all of the tabs, button groups, and commands within the program. The file tab within the ribbon gives you access to the backstage view of Publisher. In the backstage view, you will find the most common file management commands, such as creating, saving, sharing, and printing the publications that you create. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can add buttons to this toolbar for commands you use frequently and wish to always have readily available. Notice that several important buttons are already set here, Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also remove buttons that you add to this toolbar. At the top of this window, you will also see the name of the current publication that you have open. This appears to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. The current publication is displayed below the ribbon. This is where you create the content for the pages in your publication. Most of the actual work in Publisher will be done within this area. To the left of the publication page, you will see the Page Navigation pane. As you add pages to a publication, a numbered thumbnail icon of each page will appear within this pane. You can scroll through the listing of pages as they accumulate and click one to select it. The selected page will then appear in the publication page area for editing. At the right and bottom sides of the publication, you will see scroll bars. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll the currently selected page up and down. You can use the horizontal scroll bar to scroll the currently selected page left and right. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can also use it to move up and down the page as you would with the vertical scroll bar. You can easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification of your publication by using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. To the left of that, you will see the page layout view buttons that allow you to switch between a single page view and a two page view of your publication. Now that you have an overview of the names and locations of the major on-screen elements, you can examine the use and purpose of the various on-screen elements within the publisher application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.